Ho, 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 ho. Randy's working on that new farm. If only that snow would clear. Pesky snow, get out of here. This is Farming Simulator 22. Elk Mountain Ranch, episode 105. I don't know, I didn't different that time. What's going on, everyone? Dirty Randy here. And, well, it's March. Although it might not look like it. Still snow on the ground. But what can you do, you know? Uh, we'll get the dog fed. I wasn't really expecting to have this much uh, snowfall, you know, kind of this late in the year. We're, you know, we're into the spring season. Um, you know, I want to be hitting those fields nice and early because uh, we still got some stones to pick and a bunch of lime to spread on them before we can, uh, you know, get something planted. And I would love to do that sooner than later. But, uh, well, like I said, what can you do? So. That being said, you know, we do have some other things that we can get done. We got some big additions um, to the ranch, you know, um, up in our new farm area. So let's kind of get started there. I think uh, we might get, um, you know, the farmhand when they show up, we'll probably get them to load up the uh, profi liner there with a bunch of furniture. We got a lot more being made, so that's awesome. And uh, I think for now, we're going to go fill up this guy. It's been a little bit since we've used them. Don't need the uh, second trailer, I don't think. Uh, but this guy is super useful because it has two bays in it. Um, and it can take both seed as well as fertilizer. So that is awesome um, because we have a massive new addition to uh, all of our maple syrup production. Uh, we have it ton of new trees put in the ground um, and uh, that is awesome they have a bunch of water uh, tankers so that's great sorry I was sliding around on the uh, the snow here and I was kind of panicking for a brief moment there but uh, it's nice and early five o'clock this morning and yeah we're just heading over to uh, kind of the feed store just across the way and we're gonna top up with both seed and uh, fertilizer because we got some new greenhouses as well and we got an actual uh distributor for it but uh if you know it, so we can fill that up with seed um manure even i believe um and fertilizer stuff like that we're just gonna go with some fertilizer for now because we don't have that much manure but we'll try not to uh spend too crazy much on it and uh of course yeah we do have some more silage that uh i think is finished being made in that silo that we could sell as well so all is doing swell there all right we're just gonna pull in here no one coming it's nice and early and looks like our uh, contractor friend might be here doing some business who knows all right well there we go we got a bunch of seed and some fertilizer and that is literally all we could buy because uh Silly Randy literally has no more money. Uh, in fact, I have minus $77 in the bank right now. Um, you know, used to have in kind of a hefty sum, um, just ready to do whatever we need. But uh, we pretty much spent all of it upgrading, uh, investing more up north and uh you know down at our other farm here and um you know we had like what 25 grand maybe this morning and i just completely forgot and uh yeah well now we have none but uh like i said we got tons of furniture so like we have a lot more to come in we just we got to get to it so um you know enough talking let's get to work and we got to uh well I'm, I, oh no i'm gonna keep talking Sorry, I'm breaking. I, it's heavy. It's icy. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm not honking at you because I'm mad. But that's an apology. All right, and my truck is crashed. At least it's one of the used ones. But uh, yeah. All right. Well, things are all coming back to me now. Oh man. Well, here we go. This is us. Upgraded and uh, in the daylight. It's looking good. People know you're at the Elk Mountain Ranch. Alright, so we're going to try and pull up here. 
We've got, uh, yeah, all these greenhouses here and uh, everything else down there. But this is our distributor. And we're going to try and top it up with everything we can. We might even lease a uh, tanker for water and uh, just bring it up here and uh, fill her up the best we can. I suppose we could use one of the ones we have, but uh, I don't know. It's uh, not really that big of a deal. Something like that. All right, just draining out all of our seeds. We got the uh, solid fertilizer in there, and then this guy pretty much just needs, uh, needs some water, and we're good to go. Um, you know, of course, we do have water tankers and stuff like that around, so we should be pretty good once we get it, everything topped up and running. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, for the most part, I mean, we can have a ton of stuff growing in here. Um, you know, this idea is, you know, this is kind of a nice place for people to come up and uh, enjoy themselves, spend some time. We probably will be doing some more landscaping. That's why the, you know, the skid steer is still up here. And uh, our friend was down ready to rock this morning, but um, pretty much just waiting for the snow to clear until we can hit the fields and get a couple other things done. So that's, you know, not the worst thing. It kind of lets us get a couple of these things done before, uh, you know, before the snow melts away. But the sun's just coming up. I don't anticipate it's going to get any colder. So, uh, you know, let's try and get everything done best we can so that we can hit the fields. So we'll pop out of here and uh, we'll head back. We probably don't need this guy anymore up here. But uh, we could probably grab a water tanker, oh boy, and uh, get that topped up. That would be great. And hopefully, by that time, uh, the farmhand's got the other truck all loaded with furniture. But uh, I know there is a fair bit to, uh, to be sold. So it might take a couple trips. We might not do it all today. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, everything helps, that is for sure. Oh, I'm going my best, my man. I'm going my fastest. Alright, well, I was heading back and I figured why not just get this done while we're here. Um, seems like we always, we always end up having lots of trailers just on this side of the farm. You know, um, we still have our flatbed over here as well, but uh, that's okay. Uh, we'll get this guy hooked up. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. Opened up, filled up, and uh, while we're sitting here waiting for that to finish, you know, we might just get the store to see if they can, uh, you know, deliver some water for us. You know, um, we I, we don't actually need the water. We just, you know, if they can bring their truck and trailer up there, we can use our water. But uh, you get the idea. So, um, you know, might cost... Well, we don't even have any money. Oh! Do we take out a little bit of a loan just to get through this morning? Doesn't hurt. We're gonna, you know, we can pay it off. No problem. Credit is amazing. Alright, just something like this is fine. We don't need to change anything on it. Um, lease it. Oh, we don't have enough money still. Alright, it's gonna cost us 3400 but not the end of the world. Um... So, hopefully, yeah, we can go get them to drop that off while we're moving stuff around. And, yeah, we should be looking pretty good this morning. Boy, there she goes! Wonderful! you love to see it. Alright, well, that solves our water issue. Um, and this solves our money issue for the time being. And we will go make a little bit more, because hopefully, yeah, that trailer should be topped up. If not, we can help finish it off. And, uh, yeah, that really saves us a trip. Uh not having to do all that water so you love to see that all right we're all hooked up and uh yeah we got 50 pallets in here believe it or not um might not look like it but it is um so you love to see that and we still have a fair bit left in there still um i think 38 pallets or so um and of course we do have i think actually some empty pallets as well to sell but this should be just fine for now. Get us back out of the hole and, um, you know, be kind of in a pretty good spot. Just pull it in and, uh, honestly, no idea what prices are for furniture right now. And 
I don't know if I really care. Uh, we just need some money, and uh, you know, it's always going to be good money with furniture. So that being said, let's try and get it all sold. All right, just getting pulled back in, and I think we might uh, take care of some animals now that uh, we're kind of back in the green and all looking good. We still, you know, wait for this snow to die off, so letting us get caught up on our chores, but really, it's kind of a pain in the butt. All right, well, the distributor is all set up, ready to rock, so that's awesome. Um, I think we'll grab three straw bales, although I'm pretty sure the straw intake looks full, but that's all right. Um, these will be here whenever they need, and we'll do the same with hay, because that definitely looks like a lot lower. But that is not a problem. We're trying to clear out all this hay, because pretty soon we're going to start to use uh, our hay dryer over here. That way we don't need to um, ted all of it and then roll it back up, and that uh, just makes our lives a little bit easier, I feel like. So that is awesome, but um, yeah, we will need... Well, hoping to buy that big Chrome Daddy mower, but um, you know we're kind of short on funds at the moment. But I think we can make it work. Uh, we still have a whole nother truckload of uh, wood that we never dropped off at the sawmill because they still had um, a little bit, and I wasn't sure where to bring it. But um, I think we might bring it over to the, uh, the pallet facility here. And uh, that's, yeah, another job that can probably be done, which would be awesome. But uh, I think that's all. You know what? Actually, no. We do need a little bit of mineral feed. Cause, um, well, there is one there, but it wouldn't hurt to get another in the mix. Because um, those are pretty much going to be the two things that we're going to be needing to keep stocked up in there once our grass dryer is ready and rocking. Oh, boy. It's just so lippy out here. Oh, you know, this double pallet fork in theory is awesome, but in practice, sometimes it really is not the best. Right, we got two more pallets of this ready to rock for later, and this should last us a little bit. Of course, you know, it is still full on mix right now, so this is all just going to be extra. Alright, that should do. We'll get them topped up, and uh, yeah, then we have all of our manure coming along as well. So, I really like this new setup. It feels like we have just more space for everything. Um, we can drive right on through at the moment, and it's going to be mega full of straw in the coming days. Oh, speaking of, we needed to top some up in here, didn't we? We did, we did. Okay, well, that's another job add to the list. You know, if I remember right, I think that's exactly why we left that there, because otherwise it would be forgotten. So, I know we can fit three bales in, but that other shed is kind of, we're just right at its height level, so we won't be able to actually do that. Oh, right, we pulled forward. So, we'll drop off chill, and uh, whatever they take is great. Hey, wonderful. Clean dismount. But yeah, we're certainly going through our straw a lot quicker now that we're, uh, you know, got a big old manure pit and more cows. So, love to see it. Squeeze right on in here. Lock a glove. These guys are looking pretty good at the moment. Um, they still are not wanting to take any more ration, but, um, that's okay. They still have some. When it empties out, we'll uh, make sure we just top them up best we can. But uh, we'll go put some more bedding in the other and give them some food. Maybe some water wouldn't hurt. And uh, then we're pretty much all topped up on our animals chores as well, which is great. Um, yeah, gosh, then this pesky snow really just needs to go. That way we can get stone picking. Uh, get some lime rocking. Uh, 
I'm still trying to think of the best way to get that much lime up there. Um, I don't know. Actually, you know, I need to use the auger wagon. Um, might be a good choice. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, that'll be on the agenda for today. And then as soon as all that's done, we can get planning in that field. But um, really, I'm not sure if we're going to get there if uh, we can't get out to the fields via the snow, you know what I mean? Just got to uh, repark this guy a little bit, but he will be staying hooked up. Kind of reminds me of the old days. He used to hang out here, but I'm trying to get him as far back as possible because we still got to squeeze in that big old mixer trailer. But we still got a mound of food, so we don't even actually need to top up today, I don't think. I guess we should have gone to the open range boys there. Um, they all have slightly different needs, you know. Two of them need water. Oh boy. Two of them need straw. Uh, they all need food. So, we will uh, we'll get the water done after this. But, uh, yeah. We might, need, might go through a little bit more feed, actually. We'll see. But I, I don't anticipate these guys will actually take everything we have in here. Okay, this is going to be tricky. We've got to squeeze by our other trailer. Oh yeah, no problem. Like a glove, like a glove. All right. Well, they didn't take all of it, but uh, it doesn't hurt to get a little bit more topped up in here. Honestly, that's probably gonna be fine. I didn't. Uh, I just cut it off. I know. I know we could have kept going, but um, I don't think they'll take all of it. And if you know what, if they do, then that's my bad. That's my bad. My B. That's on Randy. But uh, I think we'll be just fine. I want to get to the water. And, you know, no indication that uh, this snow is going to go away other than it just getting a little bit warmer. But uh, I'm starting to get worried. It's getting up there. You know, I, we were up at 5. We've already been at it. Oh my gosh, they did take all of it, Randy. You sly son of a bee. Well, all right. Well, way she goes. Way she goes. We're going to let that top up. Uh, it's going to take a little bit because that's a massive wagon. And, uh, yeah, we'll get going on the water situation here. That should be just fine. And, um, well, you know what? We at the very least could prepare ourselves to uh, get that lime spread after this. I uh, believe we can buy some. Um kind of at the feed store like we did this morning first that uh, the seed and fert and stuff like that uh, so we'll we'll hit them up see if we can get some lime there that would be best case scenario um, and then yeah we can get the auger wagon brought up there and uh, we should probably should top up uh, our actual lime spreader as well because yeah we're gonna be going through a fair bit just like this water. We still got a fair bit left in here, so we're gonna chug along, get it done. Um, yeah, just got the guys out in the meadow here. Big beefy boys. Oh, yeah, it's slippy. It's slippy, you know? I love the snow, but after it's been here for several months, it's just like, go away! Wow. Am I magic? Alright, well, you love to see it. Um, and you know what? I was going to say, suddenly I feel behind, but not really. Um, we kind of just solved the uh, the lime issue by thinking, like, hey, let's use let's use the auger wagon, Randy. Um, so that's good. We can start doing that, and uh, otherwise we're in a pretty good spot. All of our animals are taken care of, and it's springtime, baby. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Um, so let's get this topped up. I'm not 100% sure how our chickens are doing, but I'm fairly sure that they're not empty, so that is awesome. Um, we'll shut the tractor down. It can stay on there because it's pretty much a cow tractor at this point. Um, hmm. Uh, oh, panic. Okay, no, it's fine. Uh, we're going to hop in here. Start them up. Mmm. And you know what? I, th oh, I was going to say, I think we're going to throw the front loader on. 
but I think we'll be fine if we don't. But yeah, we're gonna hook up to this auger wagon and um, I'm curious. What are our connections looking like back here? Okay, yeah, we can't connect that to anything else. I was hoping we just had like a little ball hitch or something we could throw on there. Uh, yeah, no, all right. Well, we'll have to make a couple trips, I guess. Um, not the end of the world, but uh, is there anything in here? No, all right, we're good. We're good, don't panic. All right, so. Um, farmhand, I know they're going up to start rock picking as soon as the snow is gone, so hopefully they can get rocking on that. Rocking? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get it, Randy? You're not funny. Uh, and yeah, we'll be up there with lime and a hot mow, and we can get back to that field work. I'm excited. Um, back in full swing. Our fields here are all looking pretty good. You know, there's a couple weeds here and there, but uh, we actually did get rid of them, so there's no withered weeds. Uh, in there anymore so that is wonderful and yeah we got some good expansions on the way all looking good you know this is kind of the moment of truth I don't know if they have lime but I'm just really hoping so all right well this is where Randy is still absolutely just biffing it uh, this trailer auger wagon rather uh, cannot handle lime, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need to get a lot of lime over to that field, and uh, I need to get that done. So, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's some guys that that used to work at the quarry or something like that. I don't know. I'll, I'll make some calls. I don't. I don't know. Look online. I'll find something. Um, but uh, we will head over there with uh, with our current. Uh, yeah, we don't need to park in there. Um, with our lime spreader, we will top it up because I know it can handle lime. And um, then we'll go from there. So, yeah. Not quite change a game plan, but uh, more like Randy doesn't know what he's doing plan. Just like reversing. Come on, you're not going to make that. All right, round two. Moment of truth. I mean, I'm like 89% positive that these guys have lime. It's just that I'm not. Uh, wrong direction, Randy. Good job. Right. Well, we got it all topped up with lime. You'll love to see it. Um, I suppose we could just buy some more bags of it and bring it over there. Um, you know, not the end of the world. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how far this gets us. And, you know, I think... You know, I know the farmhand's working away picking up the rest of the rocks on the field. And once they're done, they can probably take over from there. Um, you know, and if they need to go run back and get some more, then that's not the end of the world. Or we can just get some delivered um, as well. I suppose that's always a nice, quick, and easy option. Um, you know, maybe try and start using the farm store for deliveries a little bit more when we can, uh, especially when things are this far away, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we just got um, some uh, some workers set off and it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, you love to see it. The field's getting done. Um, and there's actually a bigger slope on here than you think. You can't even see the tractor it's just gone now that's pretty wild um but yeah it's looking good it's coming along um i suppose we should try and figure out a way to get our vehicle out of here um because you know we're kind of just stranded um that tractor's really not even supposed to be up here you know what i'm saying uh geez well we're kind of in a predicament but, um, you know, we, we are up here trying to get some landscaping and stuff like that done as well. Um, so, I don't know. There might be some more transformations uh, over time. So, you know, that explains that. Well, I called a, uh, a tow guy. And he came out. Got it all winched out of there. Strapped up. Might not be the best, but uh, he assures me he can get it done. So, um, yeah, I don't know. 
we'll uh, probably hitch a ride back with this guy into town. And, um, I don't know, we, we will definitely head back. We, got, we want to bring back that uh, John Deere at some point, for sure. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, we will see what else we got to get done. We need to bring up a cedar of some sort uh, to get everything in the ground, to get those crops sown. Um, which, you know, we can't do now that the line is down, to be honest with you. So, uh, I don't know, something to consider. Uh, this guy's absolutely motoring. He was thinking about passing there. Luckily, he threw on the brakes. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll head back into town and, um, we'll probably make our way up here. I don't know. I feel like we can't just keep bringing tractors back and forth. That's why we got to the big rigs. But, uh, I don't know, that trailer felt like an exception since it was got to be filled up with lime. Um, so, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Maybe we even just lease another one to bring up here. Um, at the same time, you know, that just eats into our money. Wow, this guy's a maniac, eh? Okay. I appreciate the ride from my man there, but yeah, we'll need to put some more money into repairing that guy. Um, I am tempted to take the bike out now that it's spring, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, no, we probably should uh, get up there with something to get some seeds in the ground. Alright, looks like they're just finished up with the lime heading to that other field. All the stones are collected, which is awesome. Um, it's omega dusty in there, but that's not a problem. Um, I think we'll maybe just pull this up here for now. That's alright. And, um, yeah, we will probably just send off our friend in, uh, in here planting. I think we're going to go with oats, to be honest with you. Um, that is going to be the way we do it. Um, and you know what? Before we do that, I think we're going to toss on our duels. Just because um, it's going to be, you know, what this tractor mostly has on up here. Uh, we only really had the wides on here for transportation reasons. And, uh, hey, is that a... Why have I not seen that in there? The horses. I always forget about those. Um, we don't have any horses. But... Alright, we got the twins put on. Mm, you'll love to see them. So, I guess we'll just head this way. Um, and yeah, we'll send him off. Uh, we will be doing some actual field work ourselves, but uh, I just wanted to make sure everything is kind of getting up to snuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, we can fit through there, wonderful. We'll hook up to this. We got our seed runner here as well, um, in case we do need some. Oh, we're a little close, but we're all right. All right, wonderful. Uh, make sure that we're throwing down some oats, and then, uh, yeah, we should be good. We, we, we're going to be doing rolling, um, I think. That is what we're going to get done. We're going to lease one, uh, the biggest one we can find, and we're going to rock our new John Deere for it. Um, that's kind of why we're getting so much help up here, but, uh, we're, you know, we're getting it caught up to, uh, getting it up to schnuff, you know what I mean? All right, that's looking good. They should be getting sent off, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of online shopping and maybe make ourselves a sandwich or something. Uh, we're pretty hungry, not going to lie. It's been, uh, been quite the day so far. And, uh, yeah, we will get a roller up here delivered, and that'll be awesome. All right, well, we got some food in us, and, uh, well, there's a whole bunch of changes that got done over the last uh, little bit. We, uh, we helped... Out a fair bit and uh, we got um, a bunch of stuff done we let our uh, our help as well get uh, get a little bit of a head start because this thing is a machine and a half and uh, same with uh, the big roller that we uh, leased so I'm looking forward to it but yeah there's a bunch more trees that we got brought in um, around the yard so that is awesome and uh we're testing out our big unit for the first time the 69 96 wow 20 oh my god randy you dirty son of a bee all right well i mean we're coming up on five o'clock we had a we had a late lunch i mean it's what can you do but uh yeah you'll uh, you'll notice all the trees we got put up as well as uh, there's another barn back there 
And uh, I've been itching to have just uh, a yard for some trailers and stuff. And I know this probably is not the most convenient spot for that. But, uh, you know, we'll probably end up having multiple. So, there we go. This thing is absolutely huge. Um, as is our tractor. Do we even have enough clearance? I think we should be fine. Uh, we'll give ourselves a little bit of space to make sure we don't go over what they have not done just yet. Um, but uh, yeah, they got lot. We got lots of space over here. It looks like so that's good. Um, there's a whole other field to get done as well, but that'll probably have to get saved until tomorrow, uh, especially at the rate that we're going. Um, these fields are brand new. We want to make sure they get done right. Um, and of course, this is our first time. Testing out the big tractor, um, you know, it's articulated, it's massive, um, and it can run big, absolutely big things like this. Um, but uh, it's definitely not not the quickest job in the world. But uh, we'll plug along, get it done as fast as fast as we're able to. But uh, you love to see it. Some great views out here right now. Um, wow. You know, and like this field, yeah, it doesn't look too big, but it is a fair size. Um, and then we, have, of course, have our little other one just over there. Looks like there might be a missed spot or two of lime, but that's not the end of the world. Um, gosh, how... I don't even know how to get this corner done right. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was kind of planning on just doing the headland, more or less. And then, uh, while well, continuing on, but I wish we left ourselves a little bit more space planning the headland and, you know, maybe did three or four laps instead of, well, maybe they did, to be honest. I don't know. Um, either way, it's looking good. It'll let us get through with at least one big pass. And then hopefully by then, um, I mean, I don't think we're going to catch up to them, to be honest, but I have a feeling this is probably going to take us to the end of the day, especially, yeah, at this rate, we're going to be doing stuff in the night even, um, who knows, but uh, either way, we'll be just fine, and I'm looking forward to expanding this side of the ranch, you know, it's one of those things I think, you know, we probably can just buy equipment for over here, um, if we can, you know, and uh, instead of swapping stuff around, but uh, who knows, maybe that's just... Uh, the laziness in me, but at the same time, I don't want this to be transport simulator. I want to be farming. Oh my gosh, you know what? You know what that is? I know what that is. That's that pesky log. How did you get back here? Get out of here. I'll say get. Get out of here. Get. Get out of here. Get out of here. here. Alright, he's out of here. Oh, this big unit feels nice. Do not take what I just said out of context. That is completely inappropriate, you guys. Come on. Well, I want to say we're pretty much caught up. 
uh, with rolling, which is kind of unfortunate because, I mean, obviously we want to get that all done uh, today. Um, let's see, the moon's coming up, the sun's going down. Moon's coming up, sun's going down. Moon's coming up, sun's going down. We're just going to uh, grab these couple little miss spots that we saw and make sure those are all taken care of. Um, but otherwise, looking pretty good. We'll get this one, I want to say planted tomorrow, but do we plant this with grass? Um, and then that lets us have cows over here, because um, we do have cows here. We have pretty much everything for them. We would just obviously need, um, I don't know, some sort of hay or something like that, which means we could probably bring, oh, did we really miss that spot? Um, our, uh, tether and stuff like that over here um, if we wanted to and because we don't need that because of our grass dryer right so that could be uh, could be the way to go that looks like our massive stone pile from uh, collecting all these racks that's looking good um, yeah this whole tractor setup was uh, you know it's supposed to be down at the other side uh, you know I'll take the long way, so that way we can check on the progress of uh, our other tractor. I don't see it. I guess it's down on the far side there, but that's all right. Um, yeah, I mean, hey, we got our lime down. We got our fields all looking good. We got uh, more stuff planted now that the snow is gone um, as far as just trees and stuff like that goes in, uh, in our new farm here. And, um, you know, maybe this is a good opportunity to uh, just go put away a couple little things here before um, you know we continue rolling because I do want to finish that up even though it's getting dark out and getting kind of late um, but it'll only really be two or three more passes um, once they're done with that and you know it's probably time I don't know to buy a bigger planter cedar I don't know um, and see how that goes so all right, well, we're just pulling down here. Guess we don't need all of our lights on anymore. But uh, yeah, we're gonna turn down into here and probably just throw this guy. Um, well, you know what? I was gonna say throw him in the barn, but I don't know if I will actually. Um, this is a great barn. You'll love to see it. Um, <laughs> But, uh, I, uh, I don't know, I'm torn. Um, this might actually just stay up here, you know? Um, so we will park him in here. Wonderful, and uh, I think we might transition over some of our other stuff from that other little barn we have over there. Um, and maybe just save that for like, kind of some landscaping, uh, stuff like that. Maybe, uh, oh, the John Deere Gator something who knows um, but uh, yeah we got a uh, an entrance back here this is probably for uh, keeping trucks and stuff like that in you know and trailers whatnot um, we will just throw the tractor in here for now as opposed to the barn because I think we might uh, yeah we might be using him again or we'll probably be bringing the truck back here but uh, yeah nice little green shelter there. Um, I guess I should have really if I was thinking. I need to put a little gate there to walk through because uh, I'm not always in a vehicle. Um, another gate here around the back. And uh, we'll do the same with this guy. We'll, uh, we'll let's get him put away for now because uh, we won't always be here when other people are so it'll be a good idea to just have a little bit of extra uh, a little bit of extra safety and storage for some of this stuff. I'd have to smooth out that bump a little bit, but all around she's she's looking just fine. Plenty of room to pull up with trucks. Looking good. Leave trailers, everything like that here. All right, I'm not sure. It looks like they maybe have one or two more passes, so we'll maybe be a little bit more conservative with with this one, but uh, all around, we're looking pretty good. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I've been talking a lot today, so uh, we're gonna get this finished up, and um, then we'll see you on the other side, my friends. Enjoy the crickets and the moonlight.
All right, well, we just fixed up a little spot that uh, we had missed. Other than that, we did pretty good, I would say. Um, this thing's an absolute big unit. You'll love to see it. Um, and we will go put her away, uh, considering she barely fits in uh, that other shed. I think we may as well. Why did I come in this way? This is clearly not a commercial entrance, Randy. Come on, <laughs> what are you doing? Out past the outhouse to the red barn. Where it's much smoother for a big equipment. Look at that. Alright. Um, yeah, obviously this uh, big roller is not ours. However, we will be using it again tomorrow. So we're going to hang on to it. Alright, and uh, well, since we're kind of in the, the mode of moving stuff. This is a good shed. Oh my gosh. For, um, you know... Obviously, the telehandler there it could change, but uh, yeah, you know, we'll see. That'll be some uh, decent room for stuff. Who knows? But we'll move this over. I do want to grab a rock picker as well, and uh, then we should be pretty good. All right. Just grabbing this guy. Our uh, landscaper friend is kindly waiting for us, considering, uh, well, I mean, we do, we do have some vehicles up here. Just the truck, um, I guess. But uh, that's okay. We're going to hitch a ride back with him like we did the other night. Um, and then uh, we will make our way up here tomorrow. Uh, the stone picker, the fence, they are ours. You love to see it. Um, we'll just pull up in here somewhere. Doesn't have to be perfect. There's tons of room for tons of stuff in this guy. Um, you can just hang out right there. And we'll back up alongside you. Awesome. Well. There you go. New shed. Pretty much a new farmyard. I mean, obviously, it's it's been in the works, but it's, uh, it's coming along swell. All right. Well, there we go. We're going to hitch a ride back with our friend here. Um, I know it's pretty sketchy, but uh, what can you do sometimes? Your friends are sketchy, and you just got to roll the dice. So... Anyways, uh, I think uh, that's going to be it for this episode. We're going to pick up where we left off tomorrow in the next half of March here. It's going to be a good time. I uh, hope you can join me. So excited. And, uh, yeah, well, thanks so much for joining me in this one. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.